We're in Queensway, Long Beach, California. And today we're going to uh, ride the flat waters to San Diego, California, have lunch, and come back. Our estimated time on the water is gonna be about four hours each way, including the fuel stop in Oceanside. I'm going to ride from Long Beach to San Diego and back in one day on the shortest day of the year. That means we have to be in the water by seven, we have to be back here by 5 p.m. And the first two times we did it, we got back here at 7 p.m. The third time we did it last year, we got back here at 4.30. So this time we're gonna pack a lunch, eat and leave, and, and get home back to Los Angeles. We will go straight from here to Oceanside, California, which is around 62 miles. And then we will go to from, from Oceanside to San Diego, which is another 60 miles roughly. And uh, I'm really excited. I can't wait to do this. You know, like I said, it's a time thing, and we were we were mobbing pretty, pretty hard. It was flat out there. The fast guys were doing a solid 70. We're always watching out for each other on the ocean, you know? Like I said, stay ready. You ain't gotta get ready because uh, things can change real quick out there. 30 miles from to here. I got a quarter of a tank. I'm gonna go get gas too. The faster you go, the more you suck down. As we were pulling into the Oceanside Marina, I had radioed Steve to come pick up Kevin at the launch ramp, and I offered Kevin my 2016 Sea-Doo RXP for the rest of the ride. So we filled up, because uh, you gotta fill up from Oceanside to make it to San Diego from there, because that's a, a little bit of a stretch. So as we were pulling up to the dock in Coronado, went around and I asked everybody how they're feeling. Most people brought their lunch. Some people had to go to the takeout and get lunch. We don't have time really to mess around and do things because we're on a time frame. I'm looking at the clock, we're doing good. We're ahead of schedule. So, you know, we get off our skis, tie them up, go up to the restaurant. Some guys, they be lollygagging, having fun, and I be watching that clock. Because you get caught coming back from San Diego too late, it's gonna kick your ass, especially if you're not used to riding over a chop. The most important thing is that we have an hour, but I like to see it in 45 minutes. And sure enough, in 45 minutes, we're back on our skis, leaving the dock, 
and on our way back to Oceanside, and then Oceanside back to Long Beach. As Steve and I arrived in Oceanside, it was around 2.30 p.m. Most of the guys were there fueling up. The rest of them were at the launch ramp, loading their skis back onto their trailers. What is this, Oceanside? Hour and 15 minutes. So what? Got a little windy, a little choppy. I think we're averaging about 50, something like that. Oh, I'm getting tired, hungry. <laughs> Get some Gatorade. President. That's it, I'm good. I came up to Kevin and I said, Kevin, are you okay? He said, yeah, I'm fine. I'm a little beat up from this smaller ski, but I'll be okay. And I said, if you're not okay, I will ride the rest of the way home. He goes, no, nope, I want to finish the Ironman ride. To conquer this trip, you have to be in really, really good shape, and you have to be willing to take it. So, uh, I guess about 10 miles out, you can kind of start seeing the Long Beach, you know, docks and the, the cranes and stuff. So you can, you, you're getting close. So, you know, you're kind of burnt and tired and you see the goal. And uh, once you hit that goal, you see the Queen Mary and uh, the carnivals posted right there. I always try to plan to do this ride because it really tests my endurance. You know, any of y'all that think y'all ride, Come join us at the Ironman. Make it happen with us. So overall, it was a successful ride. You know, you're already burnt, tired, back broke. Last thing you really want to do on a, on a run like this is wash your ski, but you know, no matter how tired you are, you got to flush the skis out. So when you finish this ride and complete it, there's an overwhelming accomplishment that you've succeeded.